Well, this is kind of interesting. We got hooked into a real good hard pan. And I'm in a low enough gear. Or I got one world of a tree root. Woo! Woo -hoo! Fun view. Look how tall that crawdad chimney is. Uh, 
at least eight inches. Yeah, that's the the joys we're experiencing today. But somehow I never would have imagined I'd ever be out here in March. Not March, it's April. We're taking a look at the smattering. I could probably, you know, have uh, I don't know, make some gumbo or something with crawdads in it instead of shrimp. Yeah, it's like we're down south in Louisiana on the bayou. Because we have crawdads. Yes, how lovely. But this is more, I want to get off and look at the soil. Because if you remember two years ago when I was, you know, disking this and fighting my previous camera, I was looking at the soil and the uh, coloration. At least from the cab, it looks a lot better and such noticeable. Seeing, uh, we'll say, the, the, the water uh, challenges out here. But the more I get off and the closer I look, um, I guess you could say it's it's visible. We can see we've got these gray spots and the orange there, which is like the iron oxidation. And those are usually signs. There's not been a whole lot of air to the soil, but it's a lot less noticeable than the first year I ripped this out of no-till. Of course, I only disked it the first year because it was getting so late there in June luxury of time to chisel plow it but it's much less noticeable than it was and I can also tell last year I chisel plowed <laughs> well, maybe a third of this field back here we'll say early ish and then I don't know I stopped for some reason and came back and finished it off at the end of May and I it, the farther I get across the field the harder the plows pulling so I don't know if I'm just getting deeper or something changed between an early chisel plowing and a late chisel plowing last year. But I figured the later would be better because it was extra, extra dry. And that's when you get the most effect of the shanks in the ground. The soil doesn't give way, but it'll actually shatter. You know, like the whole purpose of vertical tillage with all those blades just making little slits in the ground. It works better when it's dry. Well. Enough of my little rant here. We see I got a lovely cover crop of whatever grass growing. It's green and we're making it half green. So who says you can't do cover crops and tillage at the same time? There's plenty of roots out there holding that together. But it won't be too horrendous to disc out and then it will be brown before we plant. And the crop grows and it's green again.